Welcome back. We continue our conversation now with Kent Whitaker. His son, Bart, was behind a plot to murder his own family, uh, a plot that left Kent's wife and his other son dead. Bart is now scheduled to be executed on February 22nd in Texas, and his father is fighting to stop it. Uh, Kent, so the, the Board of Pardons is next. That's where yes. you're going with your plea. The odds there, historically, are not very good. The last time that uh, a uh, death penalty sentence was overturned to life in prison was in 2008 in Texas. Yeah, it's a long shot. But Texas is supposed to be a victim's rights state. And normally mm -hmm. what you see is the victims wanting death mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the family of the perpetrator asking for clemency. Mm -hmm. Here, you, you play both roles, so it's I a do. unique case. Yeah. Uh, Texas prides itself as being a victim's rights state, and all we're asking is that the board and the governor recognize that being a victim's rights state mean, should mean something when the victim is asking for mercy and not just for when they're asking for vengeance. Because in this case, every victim was asking for mercy and it was ignored. But the thing that, um, the way I see it, this could really be a huge win-win for everybody. The governor and the Pardons and Parole Board want to, um, they want to look tough on crime. But you could still uh, give Bart a life sentence behind bars. That's, um, many people would argue, is a tougher sentence than just going to sleep and not waking up. Yeah, no one's talking about letting him out. No. It's a question of no, whether the just... state will put him to death. It, if they deny that plea, mm -hmm. you're prepared to go on February 22nd? Yeah. Yes. How will you handle that, Kent? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, everybody that has attended one of these has, has told me that she don't want to go. Um, I, just, I, I just hate the idea of uh, my son looking through the glass and uh, not seeing anybody there that cares. How is he? Um, I, he has uh, prepared himself as best you can. Um, I know that uh, he's repentant, and um, he's not the same person he was. He's 38 years old now. Uh, he spent uh, the last 11 years in prison, and has um, he's been a model prisoner that whole time. Uh, that's 4,000 nights, I figured it out one time. And during that whole time, he hasn't gotten any trouble. He hasn't hurt any, anybody. He hasn't uh, threatened anybody. In fact, we have statements in our petition from four guards pleading for him to be given life in prison. People who worked with him back there and saw that he was a calming influence instead of a disruptive one. You managed to find love again and remarried. I did. And somehow you did manage to forgive. That, that vow you made to yourself in the hospital mm -hmm. before you knew that your own yeah. son was behind the murders. You managed to live up to it. How? Because there are a lot of people out there struggling with hate yeah. and anger and don't have anywhere near the, your burden. Well, for one thing, I think it's important to realize that uh, forgiveness is necessary if you want to heal from a loss. Um, if you're bitter and angry, uh, forgiveness will never be, I mean, uh, healing will never be complete. The forgiveness helps you... Uh, uh, reach the point where you can be healed. And it's kind of, uh, somebody described it as a gift that you give yourself so that you can heal. Uh, what happened to me was uh, unusual, and I can't really explain it very well, uh, but I think God met me that night in the hospital uh, and helped me come to a, a complete forgiveness for, even though I had no idea who it was to, and it was certainly before I found out that Bart might be involved. All the best to you, Kent. Well, thank you so much. much thank love. you. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.